Hello, my friends and brethren in the Lord. Another opportunity we have this morning to study and meditate God's Word as we journey in the book of Mark. And welcome to each one. And let me read our text for today in Mark chapter 1, verse 40 to 45. And a leper came to him, imploring him, and kneeling said to him, If you will, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I will be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him, and he was made clean. And Jesus sternly charged him and sent him away at once, and said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded, for a proof to them. But he went out and began to talk freely about it, and to spread the news, so that Jesus could no longer openly enter a town, but was out in desolate places, and people were coming to him from every quarter. This leper came to Jesus, and evidently we can see here how desperate he was. He was an outcast as a leper, because during that time, a leper is going to be an outcast. He must not live with the community, with the people in the community. So when he saw that Jesus was coming, he was imploring and kneeling in desperation. And he cried out, if you will, you can make me clean. So when Jesus saw him, he was moved with pity and compassion. So he touched him and healed him instantly. And there was no fanfare. There was no other thing required by him to do except that the Lord Jesus Christ just said, be clean. And he was clean instantly. His leprosy was gone immediately. So Jesus' healing was marked with supernaturality and with um, instantness, and it was immediate. So that it is really different to the many healings that we can see and hear and claims from the claims of people who practice healing today. We believe that God can heal. He still is powerful of God who can heal. But we don't believe that God has raised healers who can um, do miracles by, by doing like this because something like this can only be done by the Lord Jesus Christ. It was not to make himself a popular healer or a miracle worker, but it was to prove that he was the Messiah as he claims to be the divine, the Holy One of God. So his healings, his miracles that he did in the Gospels were done in order to authenticate who he is, that he is the Messiah, as he claims to be. So immediately Jesus charged this leprous man who was healed, say that you say nothing to anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded for a proof to them. So that Jesus has to send him to the priest in order that he will be confirmed that he is really healed. Jesus was asking the priest to validate his work. And his intention was to reach out to the religious leaders as well, not to undermine them. So it was the priest or it is the priest who will confirm whether the healing is authentic. Because if there is a leprosy and it was considered as an an incurable disease during the time, but if there are signs that there is no leprosy, he would be brought back into the society, that he could mingle again with people. Otherwise, when he will be declared as a leprous man, He will be living outside from the community and he will be an outcast. So the man went away, but he did not go to the priest right away. He went away telling everyone about his healing. In other words, he became disobedient to the words of Jesus. When Jesus told him that he he was going to say nothing to anybody, he disobeyed Jesus. Now we can wonder 
why is it, it was wrong for him not to talk about anybody about his healing. He didn't know the reason, but we can and we can understand that he was so excited. He wouldn't be excited if you're healed this way, in this manner. So what was wrong why he disobeyed upon his disobedience to Jesus? His disobedience to Jesus will make him popular or will make Jesus popular. And Jesus did not seek to be popular. And the reason behind why he did not want that anybody or many will know that he did this to this leper is he wanted to preach the, the good news. He wants to, to teach and proclaim the good news, but he could no longer openly enter into a town but because he became so popular about his healing that people were coming in order to bring their sick and in order for them to see the, his miracles. So he was in, out in these desolate dis places, and even then people were coming to him from every part or from every corner of the of the, uh, the place. So let me say this, that the man, I believe, was so excited to tell what was done to him. And I hope that the same excitement we are going to display to tell people what God has done in and through our lives. The man did not know about the reason why Jesus did not want him to say anything after his healing. But now we know. We know why we are saved. We know that God came in order to save sinners and heal us from the curse of sin, that we are not condemned if we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. For what reason? That we may, we may proclaim who he is. We may proclaim the gospel, that what he has done at the cross, that the sacrifice that he did at the cross is the only means that people can be healed from the disease called sin. And let it be that we will be so excited that we will tell people. Now, I believe that our excitement to tell people of who Jesus is, is commensurate to the degree of our understanding of how desperate we are without him, how sinful we are, how sick we are, how hopeless we are. But Jesus loves us so much, God loves us so much, that while we were still sinners, just like this leprous man, he did not deserve to be healed, but Jesus healed him because Jesus pitied him. We are just a people hopeless without the love of God and without Christ who died at the cross for our sins. Oh, let it be that the love of Christ will constrain us. May this love of Christ will permit or will be shed abroad in our hearts and will compel us to tell others about Jesus, not because we are obliged to or we are coerced to, but because of the fullness, because we are filled with excitement and thankfulness and gratefulness in our hearts. Let it be that we'll become faithful witnesses for the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father, we can understand really the excitement of this leprous man who was healed. Lord, let it be that we'll have the same excitement to tell others about the Lord Jesus Christ. Let it be, dear Father, that we'll become faithful witnesses for the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, there are still a lot of people who need to know that Jesus is the great healer. Jesus is the great Savior. Use us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm.